This video is going to cover successive discounts. The main thing to understand with successive discounts is that the discounts are applied, and here we go here, these discounts are applied one after the other and not combined into one single discount. Now to understand this best, let's have a look at this example. A builder receives a trade discount of 10% off all supplies. He gets this from his local hardware store. But because he pays cash, he gets a further discount of 3%. Now the important thing to remember here is that it is 3% of the price after the 10% has been applied. So the builder spends $760 at the hardware store and pays cash. Let's calculate how much he actually pays for the supplies. All right, <clears throat> now, in order to, um, to work this out, let's just get that better, we're going to have a look at the just simple calculation of percentages. I'll move this up here, and let's have a look at it. Well, first of all, the trade discount. trade discount is 10% of $760. This works out to be $76. It can be calculated by just taking 10 over 100, timesing it by $760. and we get our answer of $76. Now, to find the trade price, what we've got to do is to take the $76 off the $760. So, maybe we need to just bring this down here. There's my equals down here. So that's $760 take away $76, which gives me $684. Now the cash discount is worked out exactly the same way. The cash discount is 3% of $684 and notice that it's of the second amount $684 now calculating this in exactly the same way as above we get 3 over 100 we times it by $684 and I'll just move the screen up a little bit so we've got some more room and we end up with $20.52 So therefore the cash price is equal to $684 minus the second discount, $20.52, which equals $663.00. And 48 cents. Now that's one way to complete this. There is a quicker way and so I'll show you the quicker way which if you can get a handle on this it would be really good. So the trade price, going back to the original question, just move this up, the trade price is equal to now, if we took 10% of, the trade price is taking the 10% off is 90% of the price, $760. And this is the trick. If you can see that, then you'll be right. So I'll just move the equal sign over here. That means that the trade price 
is 90%. Remember, we took 10% off. So we're cutting this out. Instead of finding 10% and subtracting it, we actually say, well, if 10% is the discount, 90% is left. 90% of the, um, the actual first price. So 90% of the $760 is $684. Now notice we were able to do that in just a few steps. Here's the answer here. Here's the answer up here. It was so much quicker. Likewise, to find the cash price, all we have to do is to say, well, 3% was taken off. That means that 97% is left. So we need to find 90% of the discounted price, which is $684. That's once the 10% was taken off. We've got this amount. Now we're taking 3% off, which means we've got 97% left. So 3% off 100% is 97%. When we do this, we get our 97 over 100 times it by $684 and we get our final answer of $663.48. We'll just compare that with the last price, and there it is. So you can see that the second method is a far more efficient way of solving this problem. So we're going to use the second method from now on. So let's go and have a look at the next question in your booklets. It says, calculate the final price paid for goods worth $720 if successive discounts of 18% and 6% are given. All right, so let's have a look at this one. The things to remember as we do this one are that we've got to find originally $720 first discount. 18%, second discount, 6%. They're the things we've got to remember. And don't forget that the second discount is applied once the first discount has actually taken place. So, first thing we need to do is to find the price after 18% discount. All right, so that would be equal to, now let's think about it, 18%. If we take 18% away from 100%, we end up with 82%. So we've got 82% of the $720. Right, so let's work that out. Now, we can actually do this even a little quicker than before. Let's think about the next one. The price after 6% discount Sorry about the writing of that. Price after 6% discount is equal to, now, 6% off 100% is 94%. So we're going to find 94% of this value here. Of, so I'll put it here, of 82% of 720. So instead of working it all out, and then putting the number down, we're finding 94% of the 82% discount. So it's a simple way to do it because you can then do it in one line. 94% of 82% of $720. And if you put that in your calculator, you'll get your answer. It's $554.98, and that's to the nearest cent.
nearest. So what have we done here? Instead of finding that automatically with our calculator, we simply say, well, let's find 82% of it and write it down and do it in one step. We find 94% of 82% of 720. So that's really the thing that was done first. It's just another quick mathematical way of doing it. We'll try one more of these also in your booklets. So let's have a look at this one here. We've got our, um, let's just get our highlighter out and we'll have a look and see the information. It says calculate the final price for goods worth $1,600 if successive discounts of 25%, then 5% are given. All right, well, let's do this like we just did the previous one. If we have a look at it, the final price, I'll write it over here. The final price is going to be equal to, all right, we're going to have 25%. Now, let's think about that. That means that 75% is left. And if that's 5%, that's 95%. So we're going to write it down like this. We want the, the final price is 95% of the first discount, which is, I'll put brackets here to separate it, 75% of the price, $1,600. All right, so what does that look like in maths? Well, it's 95% times 75% of $1,600. And if we put that in our calculator, we end up with a final price after the successive discounts, $1,140. All right, so we've done that little bit here. What's the next part of the question? It says, what was the total discount given? Well, the total discount would simply be the original price, which was $1,600, minus the new price, which is, that's the discounted price, $1,140, which we've collected from here which tells me that the total discount was $460. Now, the interesting thing that they're trying to bring out in this question here, and I'll just lift this up a little bit, is in C, what single percentage discount would be equivalent to the successive discounts? So what they're trying to say is, okay, let's assume we just gave one discount. What would that discount have been to have given you the equivalent discount of doing one after the other. And the method that we use to do that is simply to take a thing called, I'll just get rid of that, sorry. There we go. And again, is the percentage discount. Now the percentage discount is simply what the discount was overall, $460, over the original price, $1,600, and we times it by 100 to convert it to a percentage, and putting that into your calculator, we get the answer, 28.75%. Now, with a little bit of effort, I think you'll find by using these answers as a model that you'll be able to master this whole concept of successive discounts.